Hello. If you've played Divinity Original Sin, you'll know that you have to hold down the Alt key to reveal items near your characters. This can become pretty tiresome pretty quickly, and the developers haven't put in a toggle switch for the Alt key, so you have to hold it down continuously. In this video, I'm going to show owners of the Logitech G13 controller how to set up one of the controller's buttons to act as a toggle for the Alt key. With Divinity running, go to the Logitech gaming software and click on an empty box to create a new profile for Divinity. Name it whatever you like, same for the description, and then go down to the big plus sign. This lets you attach either via the EXE, go around and find it on directory, or the option I'm going to use here, which is via the G13 controller itself. While Divinity is the active application, go to the G13 controller and click the button below the tick mark. Alt tap back to the Logitech software. G13 has found the right icon from us by pulling it from the EXE of the running application. So we go up to the Divinity profile and we right click and we select script. Next we copy our script across. and save. Now I've bound this to the G7 key, but if you wish to use a different G key, just change the value in the script from the 7 to the number of the key. Because I started with an empty layout, none of my keys are actually bound to anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the default layout. You can obviously make this whatever you want. Notice that if you leave a key assigned to G7, that key will actually work as both the key you've assigned and the sticky key. So back in Divine Divinity, I can now press the G7 key. And my options remain on screen at all times. Now, excuse me, I promised Murphy the Doc that I would get him a bone. I believe there's one over here. dog. 